and kittens no okay sorry i've been binging tiger king all week finally finished it is super addicting but like i thought it was going to be a murder show yeah um i'm a murderino don't judge me i really thought it was going to be like a murder mystery type show but it was about a gay meth head who had pet tigers anyways that's not what this video is about obviously <laughs> anyways so i decided since i'm not really going out and about and the majority of us are kind of stuck at home as well why not just do some chilled layback videos so this new series is kind of just going to be me sitting back relaxing and talking about some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes and doing tutorials with them i'm going to be going as far back as i have which i think is 2016. yeah i've been doing youtube for almost four years it's crazy so i think four years in june or july yeah <laughs> i can't believe it either anyways so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video okay so i kind of rearranged my makeup room to get more natural light from the window so let me know if you guys notice any difference in the lighting with this video whatsoever good or bad i really want to know your guys's feedback if you have been a long time subscriber or if you looked at like one of my first first videos this is the palette the very first palette i ever did a review on it is the Too faced sweet peach palette hey guys it's jen so this is going to be a review on the Sweet Peach eyeshadow palette. I'm going to do a look so you guys can see how the shadows actually apply. I'm going to be doing the Smoldering Peach. And I don't really buy Too Faced anymore. Um, I kind of just got disillusioned with the brand after so, so many negative things that this brand and people under the brand and related to the brand have done. If you know what I'm talking about, good. I don't really want to get into it. So because of all that, I've kind of just swayed away from the brand and I haven't really bought anything in a long time like this is the only Too Faced palette Oop. yeah it's broken um if you watch my old old video I broke it in the video they're just so beautiful don't look at me look at it look at it as my case breaks wow but yeah, I had, this is the only Too Faced palette that I own. Um, for a while, it was just a limited edition temporary palette they came out with, but it got so much love and attention that they decided to release it full time. So it is currently available on Sephora if you shop Sephora for $49, or it's also at Ulta. So I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my eyes, and if my bangs look a little meh, it's because I tried to um, trim them myself this morning. They look okay. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes. And for that, I'm using my new favorite. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Concealer in Base. It is a very pretty nude or a very basic nude color. Hope you can see that. I'm hoping they come out with more shades because this would make a really killer concealer i love it you see it applies very very thick like a little bit of this concealer goes a long long way i actually just ordered more yesterday because i am already out because i use it so this is the only concealer i use now so i'm gonna take this brush this is the a10 brush from anastasia beverly hills and I'm going to jump in to Georgia first. This shade right here. This is like a really pretty nude pink. And we're just going to build this up into the crease. So you can barely see just a blush of it. It is a very, very pretty color. And this is just to give a little bit of definition without adding too much color for the base. And I'm thinking about doing just a very neutral kind of smoky look. I'm not trying to keep a shape or whatever, like some of my looks I do try to do a shape. This one I'm just trying to do like a really pretty smoked out look. So you don't have to be too careful about the placement, but you do want to just make sure you blend everything out. 
So I think I'm starting to remember why I don't use this palette as much. One, it's from 2016. I had time to either throw it away or buy a new one. But also because the palettes are, the, the colors are kind of hard to build up. At least Georgia is. Maybe for, I don't know if even know if it would show up on a darker skin tone or a lighter skin tone maybe. So now that we've kind of built that up a little bit, I'm going to go in with Candied Peach. It is this darker, more kind of like the only real peachy tone in this whole palette, which is this Candied Peach. That was another kind of disappointment with this palette was Too Faced marked it up as a peach palette, you know? And so when it was announced, we were, everybody was so excited that we were getting like an actual peach palette, but like, this is not a peach palette. There is a purples, like greens, there's one peach shade, the rest of them are pink, gold, like, I don't know, I feel like if they were going to call it a peach palette, they should have put more peach shades in it, and I'm waiting for a brand to actually release a palette that legitly looks like a peach palette. So now I'm going to take kind of a slanted brush. This is, this is Sigma. It's kind of a slanted brush. I can't read the, uh, the number. It's so faded away. But we're gonna take that candy peach shade right here and we're gonna work this into our crease, like directly into the crease underneath where we blended in that candy peach. So I'm gonna use a stamping motion and stamp it into the crease. And now we're going to take those circular motions again and just kind of build it and blend it up into where we put the Georgia. And if you feel like it is not blending enough, go ahead and take a little bit mixture of Georgia and Candy Peach together on that brush and do some swipes. Do some back and forth blending just to build it up a little tiny bit more. We don't want this super dark, remember? But if you want more of a color, you can always go ahead and do that. So my battery died, unfortunately. So what I did is I went ahead and took this really pretty plum shade. This is Delectable. And I took this and I blended it up into where we put the um, Candied Peach in Georgia and blended it out. And then I took also this flat brush. This is the Morph R35. And I'm kind of just doing tapping motions to build up the pigmentation and then buffing it out as well so it kind of smokes itself out. This palette smells so good and the smell of it really, really takes me back to like when I first, first started in our little bedroom. <laughs> oh God, back in the day. Like I literally used to sit on the bed and I would film on the TV tray. And then I ended up buying a table off of Amazon and I used that as my vanity desk for the longest time. And then when we moved up here to this house in 2016, was it 16? 16 or 17 we moved up here. Um, one of my husband's friends was moving at the time and he had this really, really, really beautiful vanity and it has six seven drawers seven drawers i had to count her for a minute <laughs> but it has seven drawers it's real antique wood it has a mirror attached but i took the mirror off because the mirror has age spots on it which if you don't know what age spots are that's when mirrors are really old the varnish on the mirror starts to fade off and Pretty much they're kind of useless except for looks after that point because <laughs> you can't see your reflection. 
So I'm going to take this shade right here. This is Bellini. It's kind of like a champagne rose gold color. And I'm taking this Morph R42. It is a flat brush. And I'm going to take the Bellini and I'm going to apply that on my lid. This is a very simple look but I feel like it really, really makes my eyes pop. I'm going to take that same brush, the Sigma blending brush that I used before, and this is the one I used for Georgia and Candy Peach. I'm going to jump back into Georgia and Candy Peach a little bit and kind of blend this right here in my inner corner kind of build it back up because the purple kind of aided away, didn't it? So this definitely isn't a glam look by any means. But it, it looks pretty. I love the combination of the colors. If you didn't want to do the purple, you could always jump into like Puree or Summer Yum, one of these really pretty orange shades down here on the bottom. And that would probably make a really pretty outer corner or even Peach Pit, because Peach Pit is a little bit more purpley dark. Purpley dark is not even a word, like a more dark purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. I'm not really gonna record this because it takes forever, but I will show you what I'm using, my new favorite. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I use shade 230 because I am a pale white girl. And <laughs> so I use 230. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And then my concealer, if I can find her, where did she go? Is the, that's not it. Con the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in the shade C4. And I'm gonna apply that. And yeah, I'll be right back. Hopefully it's not too dark. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some lashes. These are Dreamy from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm not even gonna lie, I got a little messy with my glue. So I fixed that with some liquid liner. I know it's a horrible habit. Try not to do it, but I do it all the time because I'm really, really bad with lashes. So this is the Stila All Day, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. So I'm going to go ahead and put some under, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of color under my eyes to finish this look. And if you are curious, this lip, I'm really in love with how my lips look right now. So I lined my lips with Melrose Place from Gerard Cosmetics. And then I went in with the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte in Wind Down. I lied, I do have more Too Faced. I topped the Wind Down and Melrose Place off with the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in Hot Mess. And that is how I got this sheen, really shiny lip look. I'm loving how this looks. Okay. So to finish the look, I am going to take this step one for the money brush from The Vintage. And we are going to step into... Um, let's take... A little bit more of the delectable and we're just going to buff that out right here hopefully this will hide some of the gunk I have under my eyelid I got glue everywhere like everywhere so now I'm going to jump into the candy peach and just buff this underneath here as well. I really like how this looks, but I feel like I want a little bit more oof. Some oof. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up both shades again with this R38 from Morph. Now 
There we go. That looks better. So I'm also going to take some of this white peach, which is the white shade right here. And I'm going to take this shader. This is the Inner Corner Brush E46, and this is from Sigma. And we're just going to put this somewhere in the corner. And now, just because I want a little bit of a poof, I'm going to jump into Just Peachy, which is that really pretty, 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 pretty pink, and put that over the white. And that's just to add a little bit of inner corner pop. Now I'm going to take this shade. This is No Shade from ColourPop. And this is just a very pretty dark purple. And we're just going to put this on our inner waterline. All right, and that is it. This is the finished look. Let me take these off. I don't know why I still have them on. <laughs> So yeah, this is the finished look. It is just a very pretty subtle. It's not super, super big and bold. It is kind of, it's not, I was going for a neutral look, but this ended up being a bit more than neutral. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> this is kind of like a review of an old palette. So I don't even remember what review I gave this back in the day. I'm probably going to give it like a 5 or a 4 now just because the blendability is not there. It takes a lot to build up these shades. Um, they kind of go on kind of chalky, especially the dark purple shade that I used, the um, Delectable. Yeah, that's like a 4 or a 5 out of 10. <laughs> um, I honestly need to just get rid of this. It's so old. It, I'm sure I bought this palette as soon as it became available and like yeah like the week it dropped i bought this palette so it's old and it's it's broke <laughs> it's broken <laughs> so yeah if you guys like this video please do me a huge huge favor hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with your friends so that they can watch it as well um if you have any suggestions on other things you'd like me to um touch back on from older videos that you want to hear my recent thoughts and views on if not, check back next week for my next video in this series. Still trying to think of a name. Maybe I'll have one by next week. <laughs> Definitely, I'll probably have one by the time I upload this. I'll have a name for the series. But as of right now, I don't. <laughs> so I'm probably going to go eat dinner, wash this off, and go play God of War. And Or actually, I should probably go edit this video, huh? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I just hope each and every one of you are staying safe, staying smart. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all caution to.